you want to go there to make passport or collect passport you don't have to cause any trouble so when i got there this morning i saw this guy who was um having some issue with them with the security people down and what caused the issue hello guys and welcome back again to my channel if you are new to my channel my name is esther and yeah today is another kind of video i'm going to be making a vlog on the nigeria embassy yeah today guys i'm going to the nigeria embassy because i was told to come back before one week and today is thursday and it's exactly one week i last went to the embassy yeah that is the last video you saw about the nigeria embassy so today i'll be going guys and i just arrived in Termini and it's around um, 9 26 so i want to hang around here i'm going to the mcdonald's to eat something then i will be off to the nigeria embassy so guys i want to take you guys along with me to my nigeria embassy though i cannot take my phone inside but i will just be talking like i'm talking right now if i get to the embassy but not inside guys note i can't take my phone inside so i want to update you guys so i'll see you guys later let me just hurry up to take one or two things and i want to be there by 10 something you know these days i'm miss 10 o'clock yeah so i'll see you guys later enjoy this video don't go anywhere stay glued to my channel yeah before i forget someone was asking me um why they have to subscribe to people's channel and how much they will be paying subscribing to channel doesn't mean you have to pay any amount of money guys it's free subscribing means you'll be getting updates from that person's channel whenever the person upload video or anything you will be able to see the video so that is the reason for subscribing yeah i hope i've answered that question and don't forget to subscribe to my channel yeah it's free so i'll see you guys later let me hurry up to take one or two things and let's go to the nigeria embassy together i'm currently at the nigeria embassy so this is the the old passport and the paper they are going to use to check the passport so let's see how it goes and i'm about to go in and it's around um 10 uh, 49 you know i told you guys i want to come late so and someone also asked me a question i forgot to say it at the beginning she said she wants to know when i did the thumb print so i did in thumb printing um around april 24 yeah i showed you guys in that video and today's date is july 4th so and hopefully i get the passport today because i also need the passport i want to use it very urgent so guys so this is the nigeria embassy let me show you guys a bit around so let me go and drop my phone in the safe deposit um, box i hope i pronounce it correctly because the last time i said wardrobe <laughs> yeah it's not a wardrobe it's a um, safe deposit box so let me go and submit the passport and the paper so hopefully i get to collect it quick i'll see you guys later stay tuned so guys i'm really excited i collected the passport without wasting any time without any protocol yeah this is my passport i finally collected my passport so some few things i want to tell you guys because i don't want to go home sit down when i'm stressed out before i start talking like i said i want to take you guys along with this person so collecting passports is every thursday don't come on monday to collect passport too. don't come on tuesday monday tuesday wednesday is for scanning some printing and to collect your passport is every thursday and you must be there before 12 o'clock so i got there around after 10 a bit to 11 something like that to submit the paper and then get to collect the passport so it was really fast when i got there they already start collecting passports i had to submit mine and um, so not up to how many hours i got my passport so now it's after 12 and i'm going to take the metro so i can be able to go and do one or two things in roma termini and go home another issue that was coming up see guys i told you all in the last video i did if you want to go there to make passport or collect passport you don't have to cause any trouble so when i got there this morning i saw this guy who was um having some issue with them with the security people down and what caused the issue because of phone he kept his phone in that um 
safe deposit box and they asked him to take the key of which he did and he left he went inside so after some minutes he came through the window to collect his phone and was inside there not knowing that they were seeing him through i don't know what so they have to go in there to meet him and tell him he's not allowed which is kind of a criminal issue some people have their important and valuable items there so he's not supposed to go there without the knowledge of those people and he collided with one girl gave the phone to the girl through the window and the girl took the phone inside which was not right because you have the right to go there with the key open the safe deposit box take your whatever you can go outside use the phone when you are through you can go back there drop it so no need of causing any problem so when they approach him to provide the phone and what was with him they want to search him it was like raising alarm which is very wrong so i blame him and i also told him he was wrong he was not supposed to like uh, bring so many issues you know since the embassy they are trying to work hand in hand to make things better we should also assist them in any way we can and comply with them not that they are trying to make things better and we are making things difficult for them it's very wrong tomorrow now we'll start saying embassy is this embassy is that embassy is not good we should also work on ourselves you understand guys i'm very sorry for making this video in a very noisy area because if i should get home i think i'll be doing one or two things so i just really want to like talk to you guys about this issue because i just left the embassy but there is also a good news guys people that are coming from far place if you are living in palermo sicily embassy have tried their best to make things easy for you guys i'm really excited to break this news to you guys so it was told that like the announcement they make is people living in sicily in palermo they've organized where they can go and make some prints do like scanning and they will come here like the general embassy here in rome to collect passports so if you are living in sicily in palermo you can go to palermo to make your thumbprint and do the normal scanning so if you want to collect the passport you can now come to rome to collect which is very easy no need for you to come to rome to make thumbprint then go back to your residence and come back again to rome to collect passports spending a lot of money now you can spend less you understand so this is also a good idea and it's very very good i'm so happy with this idea now so if you are living in palermo this is a good news for you so they are trying to do it in different parts of italy you no know, italy is very large and we have a lot of population like nigerians here so this is a good idea guys i hope you guys are not tired of all this information because me i'm not tired of giving you guys information if there is any way i can help you guys in one or two ways if you have questions or information or anything i can help anything for you guys okay so this is the information i want to share with you guys today and yeah thank you so much for watching and don't forget to stay glued to my channel by subscribing turn on notification post to get instant notification whenever i upload any video so you can come to check it out if not about passport other things so yeah guys thank you and i'm signing out i'm going home bye